This next project, we're going slightly outside the box. Kia 24. I guess it would change up the engine or whatever to suit the extra power, the head, intake, cams, etc. Not really sure the, what the customer doing with the build at this point. But the swap that we mainly concentrating on at the moment, not really the build, specific build per se. So it's going in the Peugeot. Um, it's not really a common swap done here, really, but I think it was done one or two times already. But it's not as common as you will see in the other Hondas or maybe even the Toyotas as you see other guys doing. So we will see how we go about it. Guess it'll be to mount the engine to the box and bring in the shell and see exactly what we have to do to get the mounts mounted and fabricated. So the first thing we'll do is just try to get the box mounted on the engine. You know, lift the engine off of the, the little trolley that I got there and see so if we get the box mounted to it then. So this is the shoddy customer we'll be currently working with and that will be installing the engine in. You can see it's fully caged. It was actually a race car and a rally car. I guess it was put on a, a bit without any rain and without any elements. But I didn't know that it wouldn't be in this condition for for um, too long. So this is the current beer that we'll be working with. What we're gonna have to do is um, we the engine and see exactly the space and the room we gotta work with. See what needs to be altered or moved or whatever else. Um, I think the gear, well, the gearbox will be going to this side and the engine to this side. So we'll have to look at the mounting positions and um, we'll be able to make the mounts and make the brackets to suit. It's hard and well moved from there. So if I'm looking at it also, the front of the chassis seems it could be removed. Got a couple of bolts there and this whole front piece could be taken off. So what we'll do is remove the bumper and see if we get off this here so they can at least access to the whole front of the vehicle. That way the engine will be able to just go forward then rather than drop in. With the front off, got as much space as I need right now to, to see exactly what's going on.
what I'm gonna do now is just use the broom stick. Put it in more and try to use it to get an idea exactly where the axle will be coming out of the gearbox. Uh, we could pull a line and an angle then of how we're gonna have the engine sitting inside the engine bay. As currently we have no axles in hand at the moment. So I will just use the broomstick to pull up um, axle line in line with the hub and the axle ready and board joint will pull. Pretty close. It's almost straight. Okay, what's here? Um, I say look pretty good. What would they say? Look pretty good. Got a couple of ears there at the back of the box. On the subframe, we may go cut off. So for sure. This piece of hump here got to cut off. So you obviously know where the mount will come somewhere in this vicinity. So that's the first mount that I can try to get mounted to the subframe. I mean sorry to the chassis. This side's pretty close but go work with this. Obviously for sure this big old mounting position will have to come off. And I will have enough room here then to put whatever mount I decide to mount or fabricate at this side. But so far it looks pretty promising. Just the exhaust then too. We gotta to see if we get the exhaust fit and work. But all those are minor things. So the next order of business now would be to try to get the engine as level as I could. As I said, starting with the gearbox side first. Um, they said this big hump, whatever it was used for, has to be removed. And I think I may have got to remove this, bar this bracket. The mount, the mount that goes here, obviously, if it goes on the chassis, the holes will be too far off for this. So what I'm gonna do is lift back up the engine and try to remove that mountain bracket and that one on that side and lift it back in then and see exactly where I could um, how we could try to fabricate the gearbox side mount first. sure what kind of madness that was but that was a solid piece of metal all right so from one side to the next see if we get off this one a little easier This piece refuses to come off, no matter how much I cut and trim, so time to get a plasma cutter <laughs> and see if your plasma cutter will do the chop saw and the saws all the way do.
after this big clump of the way now, uh, I'm gonna lift back in and rest back the engine back in position and see how to go about fabricating the gear about a smoke and then the time inside mount. Got some nice space between the engine and the radiator support bar. So they're looking pretty promising there for sure. Got enough space for either a full size radiator or even a half core. Most of the dismantling fold and get changed up anyway, so this trailer body won't be sitting so low down and so far across here. A little piece of bracket on the subframe. You know, gotta end up cutting off that. It clear everything else on the subframe except for that little gear that on the subframe there. And the axle for the boomstick. Pretty straight. This is currently the position that it is going to be in. So it's so far out this boat hole would be in comparison to this. Most likely the Honda chassis has a lot more space around this area. So what I'm studying right now is maybe these two gears cut them off of this bracket and turn them completely 180 degrees which would put this side, uh, this offset and all to the front and remove this bracket. And then it should be able to basically alter this mount then. This here has an offset, offset also. Let's say it actually higher than that side. So it will cut off this. I'm not sure they may make my own bracket because this metal is fairly flimsy. So I'm studying to just cut off this whole thing, then this whole ear or two ears. And go over my own bracket, then it's a lot stronger. Side, holes over this side, and then the support to support the mount to this bracket. That would be able to support. Hopefully, that should be able to support the weight at the back of the gearbox. So you got the four holes drill from this side straight through. Through there, through there. Luckily, two got two to come through the hard fit that that was already um. Well, the chassis. The next thing now will be to drill through these four holes then so that I'll be able to get a bolt right through to the inside part of the chassis. That way I could put a bolt there and then not, not from the opposite side rather than send one long bolt through the four holes then. And then next thing will be squeezing the, um, the chassis. Bracket all bolted up. So now it's just to make some connections to connect the bracket to the mount.
to see how it fits in it. Put a little pant on it. Let the pant dry. Bolt it up. Bolt it on. Then it would start then on this side. I haven't decided exactly how you're gonna work this side as yet. But I'm gonna figure out something. A couple of coats of paint. Make it look decent. Just rest it on and bolt it up. Make sure it's still bolting up. 